Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome back. Leo, this is going to be what you can expect the next 48 hours. What's coming towards you the next 48 hours? What is going on? Okay, um, Leo, if you have Leo anywhere in your charts, this reading is for you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get some of your energies. What's going on for Leo spirit the next 48 hours? Okay, we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Okay, we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. There may be a friend who's coming to lean on your shoulders, someone who needs you to see things from their point of view, from their point, um, kind of step into their shoes. Um, we also have self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So, yeah, I feel like this friend who is needing your help, needing your advice, really needs like a self-esteem a self-esteem boost um this may be you this may be them but i feel like uh, there's someone who is coming to you for some kind of advice some kind of um shoulder to lean on okay um we have growth i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness so you could also be kind of growing at this time, going through some kind of, you know, shift in um, your circumstances, okay? Uh, let's take a look and see through the tarot what's going on with Leo. Let's get more messages from Leo. What's going on the next 48 hours? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Very interesting. We have the um, Ace of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, okay Leo. At the bottom we have the uh, Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're kind of in this busy mode. You may be busy working on something, busy with new ideas, or busy with your career. But I feel like you're like running with your head cut off. You like are not able to slow down. Okay. Um, I feel like you have so many things that you need to do. So many things that are occupying your time. Okay, Leo. Uh, but we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like, you know, if this is some kind of work that you're doing, if this is your career, I feel like you're working hard. But I feel like there's going to be like this spark of ideas that are coming towards you. You're going to get some kind of clarity on a situation that you're trying to resolve. Okay, some kind of information is coming towards you that is going to help you through your progress and whatever this is that you're working in. Um, okay, we have the <clears throat> Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there's some kind of offer. Uh, that's coming in. Someone's coming towards you with some kind of offer, some kind of information. Um, it may be kind of out of the blue sort of information that you're coming across, but I feel like it's something that's kind of overwhelming. You're, you're not really expecting this. Um, so if this is an offer for love, I feel like this is very surprising. You have no idea that this person was interested in you. Okay. Um, very interesting. Let's see. What else do we have for Leo? And let's get a little bit of a clarification. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles spirit message for Leo next 48 hours. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, two queens. All right. 
Okay, um, with this Eight of Pentacles, whatever this is that you're working on, like I said, this may be love, this may be work, this may be finance, but whatever this is that you're working on, I feel like <clears throat> you're you're in constant need of support in this situation. Um, I feel like you are really focused on the outcome you're trying to really build this up you're trying to you know make whatever this is successful okay and you are gaining success with this six of wands energy and i believe that it is going to bring you more stability more uh solid foundation okay because of all the energy that you're putting into this, all the energy, all the know-how, all of the nurturing. You're like nurturing this project uh, like it's something very special, okay? This may be something that is totally your own, something that, you know, you are nurturing and bringing forward, okay? But you have a lot of success with this. You are being noticed and being recognized for whatever this is, Um you will be rewarded for your efforts. That's what the Six of Wands is telling me. Um, so if you've been worrying about this, if you've been struggling with ideas about this situation, Leo, you can rest assured that, you know, this progress that you're making is going to be right this progress that you're making is going to bring you some kind of recognition, some kind of reward in the end, okay? Okay, Leo, uh, tell me more about this Ace of Swords energy. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups, two fives, some kind of struggle. Um, and we have the Three of Cups, okay? So some kind of ideas that you're struggling with, I feel like you are kind of really struggling with finding the answers. You, there, the ideas that are coming forward or what's coming forward is making you feel like it's just not good enough. And it may be something that you need to go ahead and just leave that idea behind and just start over. Start over with a new idea. With the Three of Cups energy, I feel like maybe you're working within a team. Someone's helping you with some kind of advice. Um, maybe you're socializing with your friend group and, you know, just slipping that idea out there and, you know, trying to get someone's feedback on the on the idea but i feel like if the idea feels like it's not working it's time to start over with a new idea okay spirit is letting you know that you know if it's lacking it may be something that you need to go ahead and release and start over okay um with this page of cups energy tell me more about this page of cups energy okay we have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Okay, so I feel like if this is a person that you want to expect, I feel like you feel like this person has a lot of options. Why are they choosing me? <laughs> you know, but I feel like this person sees you as a gift. They see you as very valuable. They see you as someone who has a lot of potential. Um, and they see you as someone very trustworthy, someone very honest and open. Okay, so I feel like this person really values you. Um, they kind of see you for what you're worth and they want to see where this opportunity is going. They, they kind of view you as a potential gift. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Hmm. They feel like you're gifted. Hmm. Tell me about this Ten of Wands energy. Spirit, tell me more about this Ten of Wands. <clears throat> we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. 
and we have the queen of wands okay okay with this um ten of wands energy i feel like whatever this is that's overwhelming you i feel like you know this is something that needs more balance this is something that you know if you're looking for some long-term security this is something that needs more attention okay but spirit is letting you know don't go don't give up keep pushing forward keep you know keep in the fight because you're you're close to the finish line you're close to a good idea okay um with the queen of wands energy i feel like she's saying just be assertive just you know flow with the ideas flow with your creative nature and just let it you know j just let the ideas the creative ideas just flow okay and be assertive take action if it seems like a good idea if it seems like a good project you know try it out see where it goes you know the queen she's very uh feisty and confident she's very self-assured and i feel like you know on on one of these ideas that you have um is going to flow it's going to just happen okay it may not happen overnight but it's going to happen with this nine of wands energy it's like just don't give up keep pushing forward okay um let's go ahead and get another row okay at the bottom we have the high priestess so i feel like spirit is letting you know what you don't know you know work on it work on it take a look you know figure out the mysteries figure out the secrets that are kind of behind the actions that are that need to be taken and then just trust yourself trust your process okay um let's take a look let's get another row here for for leo tell me more spirit what's going on in the next 48 hours for leo what's going on in the next 48 hours for leo tell me more about this love offer this seems very interesting message for message for leo spirits next 48 okay yeah we have the knight of cups the seven of wands the six of cups and the three of cups the three of cups want to keep coming out i feel like you're surrounding yourself you are really socializing really being around your friend group Okay, at the bottom we have the two of wands. Okay, so lots of cups in this bottom row. So I feel like, you know, there, there's some kind of emotions that are going on here. Uh, with this knight of cups energy, this could have to do with this page of cups offer. Uh, someone's really stepping in to try to get your attention, to try to offer you something. You may need to uh, try to defend your position. You may feel like there's a lot of competition, like you don't have a chance with this person. But I feel like this person is pursuing you. This person is really coming into your life and really trying to get your attention, you know. But I feel like you're kind of reserved. You're kind of reserved. Maybe this is someone from your past. Maybe this is a friend of a friend. Um, maybe a family member of your friend. Uh, but I feel like it's someone that you already know and may be aware of, but you had no idea that they had feelings for you, okay? You had no idea they felt this attraction, and it's kind of like making you feel some sort of way. Um, and like I said, we have the Three of Cups energy, so I really feel like you're socializing, you're, you're getting out there, you may be... Um, hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, you know, just being in your social group, networking, okay? Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity for this bottom row. Tell me more about this reading, spirit. What is this Knight of Cups energy? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Who is this coming forward? Give Leo an idea of who this is okay we have the chariots okay we have the three of pentacles 
and we have the four of cups okay i feel like this is someone that may have just moved back to town this is someone who is moving um maybe they are traveling for some kind of you know get together or um social events but i feel like this person is you know traveling they may be just visiting at the moment but i feel like yeah you're definitely going to see them at some kind of social event some kind of gathering some kind of networking event or something like that and you this person has been thinking about you they're like pouring out their emotions to you because maybe they feel like this is the only opportunity that they have to kind of catch you alone okay so it's very interesting what i'm getting with these cards tell me about this seven of wands energy tell me about this seven of wands okay we have the wheel of fortune the justice card and the hierophant wow okay Okay, with the Seven of Wands energy and the, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like if this is some kind of competition, if you feel like you're competing for something, I feel like you're, you're kind of gaining ground, okay? Because with this Wheel of Fortune energy, I feel like you're, you're like hitting this turning point where... It, things are really bound to go in your favor, especially with this, <clears throat> with this will of fortune energy and the justice. This is like, you know, you being in very close to the finish line, you are able to win this race and kind of see yourself going through the motions. Okay. Um, whatever this competition is, whatever this feeling of having to defend I feel like you are you are ahead of the game okay um things are really moving in your favor you're you're gonna get the the outcome that you're looking for definitely okay with this hierophant um energy I feel like you know it's all gonna go in your favor you've got this in the bag okay um so whatever it is that you feel like you're competing against i feel like there's no issue whatsoever because you you have what it takes to you know stand out be one of the best okay um it's definitely going in your favor you're you're gaining good luck, you know. Spirit is letting you know that you've got this. You can do it. Okay. Tell me about the Six of Cups energy. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. Wow. And the uh, Five of Cups. Okay, with this, with the Six of Cups energy, I feel like this is, this is someone who may have went away to college, may have graduated, may have built up their finances, you know, gained their wealth, worked on their resources. But this is someone that you found valuable or you found very interesting. Uh, because of maybe their social status. Um, and I, I, I see that, you know, this may be someone who you may have let walk away. This may be the one that got away, but you still see so much value in this situation. And you really want to work on being noticed by this person again. And I feel like this person is definitely noticing you. I feel like this person who's coming in may also feel like you are the one who got away okay um and they're looking to kind of reunite have some kind of reunion some kind of um 
some kind of resolution because I feel like there was a lot of grief, a lot of sadness with letting the situation um, by walking away from this, okay? They, they felt like they lost maybe a piece of themselves and, you know, there wasn't much left after um, they had to walk away or you walked away from them. Okay, tell me more about this Three of Cups. Tell me more about this Three of Cups, please. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Full Card, and the Ten of Wands. Definitely. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom. Okay, so I feel like I feel like this person is definitely someone who was maybe a friend of a friend, um, someone in your social circle, someone from the past, someone's coming back in, but someone felt left out. They felt unappreciated, unwanted, unacknowledged, and, you know, that left them feeling like they kind of had nothing, like it was just stressful. It, it brought anxiety. It you know, it brought that feeling of, you know, just that weight that they were carrying. But this person wants some kind of new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith. They want something to be reignited. Okay. It's someone that holds a lot of interest. Look at this. We have the six of wands and the fool. So it's someone who really wants to be seen, who really wants to, you know, have this new beginning, have this new journey and, you know, like follow their dream. And I feel like, Leo, you may be, you know, what they dream of. You may be part of what they see for the future. Okay. Um, I'm going to get more messages. Tell me about this. I want to know more about this information. Okay, we have the Hermit card, the Strength card, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person has been searching. Maybe they lost track of you. Maybe they lost track of your phone number, or um, maybe you've changed your number many times, and they weren't able to really get in touch with you or to locate you. But I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. This person sees Leo as someone who's very strong and capable, someone who they care very deeply about, especially with the strength card right next to the Ace of Cups. So whoever this person is, I feel like they carry a lot of love with you. You're going to receive a lot of communication now that this person has caught up with you. I feel like this person really wants to stay in touch. They really want to communicate. They really want to build something back up. They want to reunite some kind of situation. Okay. Um, so this is very interesting, Leo. Um, I wasn't expecting this to turn into a love reading, um, <laughs> but this is your next 48 hours, okay? Um, so within the next 48 hours, I feel like there's going to be a shift. There's going to be um, some kind of advancement in where your love is going or what opportunities are coming forward for you. Okay, Leo, let's go ahead and get some Moonology cards. Let's see what the Moonology has to say for Leo. Okay. We have work through the fears. So there may be something that you're fearing. There may be some kind of anxiety that you're pushing through, especially with this Ten of Wands coming out twice. There may be some kind of uh, feeling of overwhelm, feeling that... Um, Maybe there's a lot of burdens that you need to carry, but work through those fears, okay? You have the clarity. You have the knowledge, okay, Leo? Okay, be bold and make the first move. So there's something that you need to take initiative with. There's something that you need to be very assertive with, and I feel like you know exactly what that issue is that you need to take action on, okay? Um, but Spirit is letting you know to be bold, be courageous, be that Leo the Lion and have strength and make the first move, okay? 
Um, tell me more. Your hard work is paying off. So there's something that you're doing that you're making a lot of progression in. Your um, There's something that you're working through that you are going to find a lot of meaning in that is going to bring you into this new progression. Um, but your work is paying off, okay? Uh, and we have a time for healing. So there may be some kind of issue, some kind of issue from the past, some kind of issue that's going to be resolved that you're going to be healing from and i'm actually feeling like getting an angel card as well so we're going to go ahead and see what the angels have to say for leo okay and we have facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar so beautiful energy, Leo. I feel like something is coming forward for you. Something is coming around. Okay. And we have psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. So your yeah, spirit also wants you to follow your intuition in the situation. There also may be a need for forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father, healing is possible at this time. So that's that healing energy. And, you know, use your intuition. I feel like your intuition is very high at this moment, Leo. So uh, kind of scope things out, get that gut feeling, and, you know, flow into the situation but you have the strength you have the ability you have the know-how okay leo so this is your reading for the next 48 hours if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising um, i have all of the february readings up so if you want to take a look at your february reading to get clarity um take a look at your sun moon and rising i have that playlist i'll attach it here and uh, leo until your next reading many blessings love and light.